Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, in the last video, I showed you all how to install 12.04 alpha of um, Ubuntu on your ARM Series 3 Chromebook. What we're going to be doing today in this video is I'll show you how to uh, do some critical fixes for your touchpad, uh, the speakers, OpenGL, and uh, even a flash player. We have an alternative to that. We couldn't be able to get a flash player installed on an um, ARM, ARM version of uh, Ubuntu. But uh, yeah, I mean, seriously, this this uh, these fixes have really, really made my experience with Ubuntu uh, way better. Before it was barely usable, especially since the touchpad would only respond to your to your finger, like actual fingerprint. It wouldn't res respond to like the tip of your finger. It would only respond if you put a lot of pressure on it. So hopefully, uh, these fixes should uh, make your experience a lot better. Uh, I've been running into an issue uh, with my locale setting. I get unsupported locale when I install some applications, but hopefully there will be a fix that I will find in the future. Uh, I've tried uh, several several commands and packages that are supposed to help, but we'll see. None of them worked out for me, but uh, I'll still look for a solution if you guys are getting the same problem. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So I compiled uh, a bunch of fixes that I found from developers everywhere. Um, first is for the touchpad. I, I'd just like to give a shout out to Craig Arrington for his fix. Uh, you can, you guys can go check him out at craigarrington.com. His touchpad fix, uh, it did it for me. It worked. Um, I'll walk you guys through that, but, uh, yeah, we'll, I'll walk you guys through that. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, a person named Marcin Juskiewicz. I don't know if I said that right, but uh, I'd like to give a shout out to him too. He's amazing. Uh, his PPA, he made a PPA for uh, for uh, the Chromebook for uh, uh, for Ubuntu, and uh, basically he said that it accelerates the Xorg uh, video driver. It also uh, it brings OpenGL as long as you have root root A. Uh, okay, and then what else? L uh, does that leave a sound? Okay. So yeah, basically some people have been frying their speakers trying to fix the audio, right? So I'm going to show you guys how to fix the audio, but uh, we're going to install his PPA first before we uh, do the audio fix, just in case someone does an extra step and maxes out their volume while trying to fix the speakers and poof, you know, your speakers are blown out, you can't fix them anymore. So for the audio fix, I'd like to thank uh, Jack Murray. He's over at the uh, Chromios, uh, the Chromios 48 blogspotcom He actually just commented. He didn't. I don't think he he didn't actually make the build, but he commented with this fix. We have to actually go into also mixer. It's not a kernel driver. It's actually just just a settings issue. So I'll show you guys how to do that too. And then Flash Player. We have several alternatives. Um, I. I think my best, my I've had most success with GNash. GNash is uh, is available in the software center. I'll show you guys how to do that, or you can add it as a as a plugin or repository. I'll show you guys how to do that. Also, I've heard of LightSpark. It personally has not worked out for me, but um, we'll see what we get to in this video. All right, so uh, let's get started. Uh, for the mouse, what we're gonna want to do, we're gonna open up a terminal. Terminal, so you could either search terminal. Oh, by the way, the the caps key is a search key uh, on the Chromebook, and it also works as a search key on Ubuntu. So if you guys want to do that, that could work out. Or you can just press Control Alt T. It will open up a terminal for you. Okay. So let's get started. I'm gonna zoom in to see if I can capture some of the the text on my um, on my terminal okay there we go one second let me just fix this up okay hopefully you guys can see that I think that's pretty good okay so you're gonna wanna type in M K D I R Okay, and then space that squiggly thing, and then forward slash backup. Okay, then we're gonna press enter, and that's it. And then you're gonna you're gonna type in sudo mv space 
forward slash user usr forward slash share forward slash x11 forward slash xorg dot conf dot d forward slash asterisk space squiggly forward slash backup forward slash and then we're going to press enter and then it's going to say sudo password for user and we all know that the default password is user if you haven't changed it already so we're going to type in user enter and there you go now we're going to press we're going to type in cd space forward slash user forward slash share forward slash x sorry guys make sure that the x's are capital or just when they need to be capital they are capital so this is going to be share forward slash capital x 11 forward slash x o r g dot conf dot d forward slash and then enter and there we go now um, we're going to type in sudo w get http colon forward slash forward slash craig errington dot com oh you guys can't see that one sec that should be good Craig Arrington .com forward slash oh sorry wait let me zoom out Craig Arrington .com. that should be better I think Craig Arrington .com forward slash All right forward slash Chrome forward slash X underscore alarm underscore c h r u b u n t u so that says c h r ubuntu and then dot zip okay and we're just gonna press enter and then it should do that and you should get a response wait let me let me just pan down a little bit so you guys can see that oh, let me move this up there we go so there you can see, uh, get, you get the dollar sign, which means that it completed, All right? And then what we're gonna do after that is, let's see, sudo unzip, here we go. Sudo unzip, can you guys see that? I think, I should move this down a little bit. There we go, all right. So you're gonna type in sudo unzip x space x. Sorry, let me start over. Sudo space unzip space x underscore alarm underscore c h r u b u n t u dot zip enter and there you go. And then the next thing is gonna be sudo rm x underscore alarm underscore c h r u b u n t u dot zip enter and there we go now make sure okay guys make sure that you don't reboot at all during any like when any of these commands are running we're gonna be rebooting after but we're not done yet so after we do that we're gonna type in uh, if you're an, if you use an English keyboard uh, if you use like a the US version of the keyboard, we're gonna want to change something. If you're in the UK, then uh, or if you're in like Great Britain, or sorry, if you're in England, then your keyboard is gonna default at GB because Craig Arrington he his keyboard uh, his keyboard settings which we just downloaded and and, uh, and replaced with ours uh, are, are are in GB. So we want to change it to US. And if you guys I don't know your country code or whether it's like Okay guys, so this is the command you're going to run to open up the, um, to change the keyboard layout from Great Britain to US or whatever, whatever keyboard layout you normally use, right? So it's going to be sudo g edit forward slash user forward slash share 
forward slash capital X 11 forward slash X O R G dot conf dot D forward slash 10 dash keyboard dot C O N F. Okay, and then you're gonna press enter. And then let's just go right over here. So you guys see how it says GB? For me, I'm in the US, so my keyboard layout is in the US, so I'm just gonna change that to US. And usually I had this problem before, I didn't type in sudo before I ran the command, so I didn't have super, I didn't have like, like fake root access basically. So I couldn't save it and the file was read only. So I ran sudo before gedit, and then that's how. That's how I got here. And then we're gonna press save. And then we're just gonna close it up. And then if you wanna check that it actually ran, you're gonna press you're gonna rerun the command by pressing the up arrow key and then enter, it's gonna run the same command. And see right there it says US. So that's perfect. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna just reboot and then your touchpad should now work. So let's try it out. Alright guys, so we're all back and booted into Ubuntu and as you can see now, my touchpad is working and it's working flawlessly. See what I'm using actually to make sure that it's different from before, I'm using the tip of my finger instead of actually doing this, which we had to do before. Um, but now you see it's just flying through, so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, thank Craig Arrington again for that fix. Um, if you guys aren't really that familiar with Ubuntu, I can uh, show you how to get two finger scrolling and change the sensitivity and the um, acceleration speed for your touchpad. So what you can do is just, you're going to go to click dash home, and we're going to go ahead and type in, uh, what is it, mouse, yeah, mouse and touchpad right there. Just click it, and then it's going to open up the uh, the settings, and I don't know if you can see it, let me zoom in. Um, Right there, that's a settings box, and uh, we're just gonna. This is the mouse, not the touchpad. So you're gonna want to switch tabs over to the touchpad, and uh, I just like it really fast. So I'm just gonna go all the way, max it out, right, and then sensitivity. I'm gonna max mine out too, and then you guys see right here, it says two finger scrolling. Just go ahead and uh, check that uh, radio button, and then uh, you guys can change it however you like. You know, you can disable touchpad while typing. Uh, enable mouse clicks with touchpad, uh, enable horizontal scrolling, you know, whatever you guys like. I, I like horizontal scrolling, so I'm just going to do that. But, yeah, I mean, you, as long as the mouse is, uh, the touchpad's working, I think uh, our a big problem was uh, was solved through this. So, again, thank you, Craig Arrington. Uh, great fix. All right, guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to add um, a PPA made by uh, Marcin. J just Keywits. I don't know if I said that right, but um, he's a uh, developer, and you guys can head over to his website. I, I will link it as well. Uh, I think he's from Poland, and it looks like his um, his PPA uh, fixes a bunch of stuff in uh, Ubuntu for the Chromebook for the ARM Chromebook. Uh, apparently, it has accelerated the Xorg video driver. And uh, also has OpenGL ES support as long as you have root A partition with Chromium OS. And also lib, lib A sound too. Uh, it's going to be also packages with the US UCM profiles for your Chromebook. So uh, people have been having problems with their uh, speakers. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and uh, run the command to install the PPA. And uh, what we're going to want to do, you're going to type in, I'm going to have this also in the description, it's going to be sudo add-apt-repository, make sure you spell that right, space ppa colon hrw forward slash my dash own dash packages okay and then we're gonna press enter 
it's going to say uh, sudo password for user, user if you haven't changed it, the password is user if you haven't changed it already. Okay, type that in, enter. And then it's going to just give you like a little disclaimer and then I'm just going to go ahead and press enter to confirm it. Right. Oh, yeah, there we go. And uh, it's done. And now what we're going to want to do is or we're going to run sudo apt dash get space update. All right, I'm going to press enter. And it's just going to do that really quick. And it's done. So now that we've done that, this notification is going to come up over here by the side. And let me see if I can zoom in on that. You guys see right there, little software update notification. So if we just go ahead and click on that, it's going to open this up. And I'm just going to go ahead and install updates. Okay, so there's around 110.2 megabytes. And with those updates, are the PPA included okay it's not just the PPA that's this big it's actually you know uh, just general general updates and a lot of uh, Ubuntu just Ubuntu updates in general so I'm just gonna go ahead and install the updates okay and uh, yeah if you guys haven't done this already it should everything should go well and then it should finish but I'm going to uh, return to the video when it's done uh, doing the updates. Alright guys, so my uh, updates are finished and I'm just going to press restart now. Oh, let me just save this. And then uh, I discovered something that um, can eliminate that beep, that loud beep that we all hear uh, during the startup when you guys get to the OS verification off screen right here what you can do is press control D and it will boot you automatically into Ubuntu so you won't have to wait for the beeps and then wait for it to go to the default so um, yeah I actually read that in one of the comments on uh, the last video and I just uh, you know just uh, like to thank whoever uh, commented for that but uh, here we go. So we're all booted up now, and um, we're gonna go ahead and do the audio fix. Okay. So you're gonna open up a uh, terminal. So same thing, Control Alt T, or just do whatever. And then we're gonna type in all A L S A A. No, sorry. Let me start over and zoom in. Okay. Let me see. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna type in A L S A M I X E R, Alsa Mixer. Sorry, let me let me see if I can get a, a focus on that. Okay, hopefully you should, that should be a little better. We're gonna press Enter, and this is what should appear. Okay, so what we're going to want to do, I think the best thing is just to maximize this window. So we're going to double click on the terminal and I'm going to zoom out of this. Okay. Let's see. All right, that should be, I'll zoom in later. Okay, but this is what you guys should see. So our main navigation is going to be with the left and right arrow keys. Okay, so uh, I think you guys should just follow my lead, okay? So uh, we're going to go and so you guys see the the two flashing, the, the red flashing thing on the bottom left? Yeah, I'm just moving that with my arrow keys. So uh, with the right arrow key, you're going to keep going to the right, 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 right. Okay, and then keep going, keep going until you see something called left speaker okay you guys see on the top left right there it says item that's where you're gonna be looking for the name okay so let, let me just go left and right you can see it's you can see it's moving right so what I'm gonna do is look for the left speaker mixer where is it 
left speaker mixer left, DAC1. You see how it says off right there? We're going to go ahead and press M, but before we do that, I just want you to see what it looks like beforehand. So you see I'm highlighted, oh, that's not focused, one second. So you guys see right there, it says left speaker, or, well, you can only see the left in the first three letters, but by looking at the item name, it says left speaker mixer left. DAC1, and it says off, but I showed you guys before this cut. So what we're going to do, we're going to press the letter M on the keyboard, and that's going to make it be zero, 0, right? And see, if we go back into here, this says left speaker mixer left, DAC1, and it no longer says off, so that's, that's good. So we're going to keep going until we find the right speaker mixer right, okay? There we go. Right speaker mixer right. DAC1. You see how, how it says off? And you see how right there at the bottom right it says MM. MM means it's off. So we're going to press the letter M. M is in mango. Right? We're going to press the letter M. And it, see, there we go, zero, zero. And if you go back here, it's no longer off. So. Now you guys want to get your speaker, your uh, headphones, headphones to work. We're gonna do the same thing, okay? We're gonna go right headphone mixer right, DAC one, and you see where is it? Right there. We're gonna press the letter M as in movies or mango or whatever. And there we go. And then you see it's no longer off, okay? And then we're gonna go to left headphone mixer left. So. Where is that? Left. There. Oh, I think I saw it. Left headphone mixer. Left DAC1. There we go. And then where is it? Right there. We're going to press the letter. And once we press the letter M, it's going to be 00, zero right there. And we can check by going here. It says left headphone mixer. Left DAC1. It's no longer off. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the speakers. Uh, we're just going to press exit, which is the escape key on the keyboard. And uh, it should close right there. Let me zoom out. Right, and then we're going to go ahead and close this window right here. And then going to go into the settings. All right, I'm going to go to the speaker icon right there. I'm going to go to sound settings. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click speakers. And then I'm going to press test sound and then front right. Front right. Right there. Front left. Front left. Okay, there we go. Then we're going to go ahead and close it. And then even you guys can use the volume keys uh, on the keyboard, which are next to the power button if you <laughs> haven't <laughs> uh, realized where they are. But uh, see at the top right, we can see the volume uh, indicator when we change the volume. Right there, and we can hear it. Right? And let's see if we can mute. We can mute. Okay, that's great. Now, uh, I've ran into a problem. Um, the keyboard layout, I think, needs to be remapped because the, uh, the like the FN keys, I mean, not the FN, the, the function keys, which is like F1, F2, F3, you know, uh, those actually have kind of lost their, uh, like, they're actually their commands. Uh, the f back and forward button don't respond to go b to back to go back in the browser or go forward refresh does not refresh uh, I think the maximize which is one f one two three four the f four button which is supposed to maximize the windows actually works so here if I just show you an example uh, let's say I'm in terminal I could press the f four button and it would maximize and then yeah it doesn't minimize it just maximizes okay uh, the 
the brightness is what I've been trying to get remapped. I'll try to remap it and then update you guys, but the brightness buttons don't work. And that's a little bit of an annoyance to me because I think brightness, you know, it's one of the most commonly used uh, functions on a laptop along with the, uh, the speaker sound, the speaker volume. So we've got the sound working. We've got the touchpad working, we've got uh, PPA installed. Uh, I think what you guys are looking for next is Flash Player. And here, this is Flash Player on the AR ARM Chromebook. It's a really iffy topic because, um, first of all, you cannot just get the native, like, you, there's no native version of Flash on ARM Ubuntu for, for anything. It's just, it just does not work at all. So, there have been alternatives, uh, I've heard of LightSpark, uh, there's GNash, uh, like a, a bunch of like SWF players, but I've ran into some problems with LightSpark, um, I'm not sure why, but it doesn't matter what version I install, uh, what repo I get, or PPA, whatever. It, it always crashes my browser, and I, all, I'm, I end up reinstalling. Um, the only thing that has worked for me best so far is GNash. Uh, I haven't tried anything other than those two, but if you guys want, you can keep watching the video and I'll show you how to install GNash. Uh, GNash actually works best with Fire Firefox, to, with my experience. Uh, Chrome just is really choppy, even though it does play YouTube videos, I think GNash works better on Firefox. So I'm going to show you how to get GNash just in case you're interested. So it's actually pretty easy to get. Uh, you're gonna open up the Ubuntu Software Center, right, and then uh, just wait for it to open up. And we're gonna go ahead and search in the search bar, as soon as this is loaded up. We're gonna search GNash, and then press enter. And then we have two files right there. You guys, pretty sure you know how to install this. But first, be so if it's the first program you've installed from the Ubuntu Software Center, you're going to have to click more info right here before you can actually install it. And then you see uh, right here it says use this source. We're going to go ahead and click use this source, put in your password, user, right, and then we're going to go ahead and go back once, once it loads. There we go. And then we could just, uh, you guys should just probably wait a little bit. Um, as soon as you add the source, it's not going to immediately let you install, so just wait maybe like a minute or two and then it should um, should finish and then we'd be able to install it alright uh... this seems to be taking a little bit of oh okay i was gonna pause the video here let me just pause it anyways and then i'll come back when it's done alright guys so i just finished installing and it took me to this page uh, sorry, it finished adding the source. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and install GNash SWF Viewer for KDE, and then I'm going to press install right there, top top right. And then it's going to ask for my, for my password, user, enter. All right, guys, so it's just finished installing. Um, this is, when it says for KDE, it means uh, for the browser, uh, as a browser plugin, but I'm going to go ahead and install both. So, uh, just the regular viewer also. So, I'm just going to press install. And it should finish, and I'll uh, resume when it's done. Okay, guys, so I just went ahead and installed Chromium from uh, the Ubuntu Software Center. It's the same process. Uh, if you want to install, all you have to do is just search in Chrome. Um, but uh, I installed it just so you guys can get a quick comparison of uh, what it's like to run Flash Player on it as uh, compared to Firefox. Uh, so, uh, just so you can see if, you know, if you're going to be using the browser for, for uh, sorry, for more flash than, than just regular browsing, then uh, I would definitely recommend Firefox. I mean, I'm going to show you what they both look like right now, but again, this is to show you, to help you decide which browser may be uh, best for you. So, uh, let's go ahead and open up uh, Chromium. And I'm just going to go in, right into YouTube.com, all right? Okay, so it's going to give you messages that you need Adobe Flash Player. All you need to do is just ignore those um, 
just ignore those messages if it's still in get install plugin or anything. So, uh, well. and then this is it. Don't tell me this is just pictures. Um. Okay, actually, no, I don't, this is not a slideshow, actually. I think there is supposed to be video, but it looks like it's a bunch of pictures because of the... Here, let me just make sure I'm not wrong. Um, I'm sorry, guys, let me... But I think it, it, it's supposed to it's supposed to be fluid, but it looks like a slideshow because of not here from how choppy it is. Training. I want to take you through a lesson. Yeah, no, this definitely place. is... So what you want to do is you just want to lock your ankle yeah. and you, you just kind of want to drive through. You know, don't just... So, that's what it looks like on Chrome, basically. It looks like a slideshow. I honestly thought that previous video was a slideshow. But, um, yeah, no, it's it's barely watchable. The audio, audio works fine. Um, it's just that it's, a, it's not, really, not really ideal for uh, video viewing. I'm just going to open up Firefox to show you what it looks like on uh, on Firefox. Okay, so I'm going to go to youtube.com. And then, yeah, it just says install missing plugin. No, you don't need that crap. Just ignore it. Um, hey, let's get Harlem Shake Miami Heat Edition. Okay. Yeah, you guys can definitely see a difference already. Uh, it's way, 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 way smoother than it was before. You could actually see several frames at a time, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, there you have it. <laughs> but here, let's let's try to do it in uh, higher resolutions. Let's try to put it in 480, see how that plays. Still not bad, not bad still. Let's try to put it in 720p. Okay, yeah, it's getting it's getting a little choppier. Let's put it at 360p and then large player. Not bad. This is definitely not bad at all. Let's put it in full screen. Not bad. This is not bad at all. You know what? It's it's viewable. It's not that laggy. It's pretty fine if you ask me. So that's it basically for uh, Flash Player. Uh, glad I could uh, get it working. If you guys didn't get it working, uh, please uh, try to post your comment um, with uh, any any problems you're having. But. Um, I don't think there's anything else that we need to fix. Uh, we fixed the touchpad, we fixed the audio speakers, um, we fixed Flash Player, we added a PPA with, hopefully, I think I added OpenGL. <laughs> I'm not sure how to test that. But I think the only thing left to do now is uh, figure out how to remap the keys. Um, I've tried already, but I'm not quite sure how to do it. I'll still look into it. Um, I think the the, the built-in keyboard here. Let me show you guys what I've gotten to so far. Um, if you go to if you type in keyboard in dash home, uh, it's, and then get like the first link, you're gonna click keyboard. Is that is this it? Let's see. Yeah, there we go. And then you see the shortcuts tab right there. Let me zoom in. See the shortcuts tab. I'm just gonna click shortcuts. So I think what I could do is make, because none of these have anything to do with um, brightness control. Yeah, I mean, best I could do is high contrast, zoom in out, um, increase text size, and then windows. But yeah, there's, I think I could do a 
custom shortcut and then press like the plus sign and then yeah but I'll still look into that oh guys uh, totally sorry I forgot how to I forgot to show you the two fingers scrolling uh, doing some work two fingers okay now I pressed the space bar by accident two fingers guys look the mouse is right here it is really really smooth and I mean look it's even running flash player so let's get something like um I don't know reddit let's go to reddit.com and then try the uh, two finger try the two finger scrolling I really 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 like this this is really nice I mean we went from <laughs> not having like full touchpad support to two finger smooth scrolling and you can even get add-ons that make your smoothing <laughs> make your uh, scrolling even smoother so so yeah I hope uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I definitely will be making more uh, especially to your request if you have any if you have any requests on uh, what I should do test anything out uh, definitely I'll I might be uh, looking I might actually I think I will make another video on how to update to 13.04 I've gotten a lot of requests to do that and I might actually I might actually do that and I'll uh, walk you guys through it and everything but uh, as of now, you have a uh, really uh, well-functioning version of 12.04 uh, Ubuntu on your ARM Chromebook, uh, which is a uh, huge, huge, huge progression from you know what we already had. We had we got all the fixes done. We got the speakers, but uh, that's that. Um, yeah, if you guys need anything, just uh, inbox me, comment. Uh, subscribe if you want more videos, uh, if you want to know when I make the next video for the 13.04 uh, update and also if, if, if I come out with any more fixes then you guys are going to be the first to know. Uh, I don't know, like it? I don't know why. There's no, I mean, do it anyways, but yeah. <laughs>